Welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic with me, Get Daved. So I flew to Yavin because, uh, that, and that's all you missed. I just used the return, return to Ebon Hawk function and then came back here. Uh oh, Trandoshan mercenaries. You're turning on them. Persuading them to leave? Uh-uh. I... No, that is not in dispute. Okay. So, five, and we're surrounded. So, from a defensive point of view, taking the bridge is the most important thing. Not that direction matters too much in this game, but... And now, the pincer attack is broken. Oh wow, party member now. They're really, uh, sticking it to my people here. No, I don't want to do that. I want to use stasis for you. Give Candorus a little bit of help there. Eh, looks like that's not important anymore, actually. Okay. Say it with me now. Force jump. Okay. And... I'm surprised Stasis Field didn't work on him. These Trandoshans are pretty hard and strong. I don't really know how to say that. Trandoshan. Oh, things aren't looking good for you, buddy. That's right. I like this guy. He's a clever. Thank you. And it is, it is good stuff. 100% versus cold, 100% versus fire. And it's upgradable. Like, his elite stock is absolutely amazing. And uh, two new core lightsaber crystals. If you can only afford one, I recommend the Heart of the Guardian. But um, this one gives you the most powerful lightsaber in terms of raw damage. This one sort of draws out other characteristics. It changes how all of your secondary crystals work. It's, it's just great. I cannot say enough good things about all of his, well, stuff. Like, seriously, some good things. But more importantly, let's loot some corpses. And use some force heal. Oh, I only have one Jedi with me, I suppose. That being me. I should really bring more people along. Should have gone with Joe Lee or something. We're at the point where I've got a ton of, like, a pretty good base number of force points, though, so. Now, if you've been r doing any uh, swoop racing on Manon, here is the place to sell all of your uh, swoop or your racing bonds or whatever they're called. Lots of credits, lots of wonderful things. By the way, I don't think you can actually talk your way out of that situation. Just press the E key to make sure I got all of the remains. And now I'm going to off-screen selling basically everything. And we'll figure out where that puts me in terms of finances in a minute. Alright, so I sold a ton of my stuff, and now have almost 100,000 credits, so it's time to go shopping. Uh, we'll start with... Unfortunately, it does overwhelm his inventory with a ton of crap. Uh, heavy exoskeleton's awesome, so we'll pick that one up. I would like to get the... Well, there's so much good stuff. 
Baragwin Shadow Armor is pretty good, and the price is right. The Light Exoskeleton is also good. The most important thing is the lightsaber crystals that you pick up. So, there's 20, we'll drop 36,000 right there. And now we gotta be a little careful. All of the Baragwin stuff is amazing. So it's just mainly a matter of figuring out who you're gonna get the stuff for. Upgrades greatly increase both the impact force and the print. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the disruptor weapons. I just usually just go for straight damage. So an assault rifle is a maybe. There's a really good vibro blade he's got sticking around here. Advanced stabilizer gl gloves are not a bad choice either, particularly for characters who need... Well, actually, it's not a bad idea for anyone, because having improved blaster bolt deflection is pretty nice. Baragou and stealth unit? Oh, definitely. Dexterity plus five, that's not bad either. Boy, he's got some good stuff. That one gives you really good combat everything. Oh, man. Your stock is so good, Suvam Tam. Oh yeah, and the unlimited flamethrower. Yeah, it's pretty nice. The price is right too, 2400 for unlimited flamethrowing. Super droid plating, not a bad choice. Oh, the decisions. Pretty tempting. You could combine a lot of these things to have really amazing defense. I'm gonna go with that. And what else? You can of course buy back anything you sell them as well. Oh yeah. An absolutely amazing vibro blade. 2 to 12 with a bonus of 2 to 12, and then plus 2 modifier. So it's better than a lightsaber. Pretty tempting. What else did we say no to? Oh. Environmental Bastion Armor. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, everybody. I'm going to free up some more money. I'll be right back. Welcome back. So, small tip, if you want to get a ton of money, selling your uh, thermal detonators I think is worth it. Uh, you can get a lot of money for each one of them, and that's nice. They sell for 1300 apiece if you've done all the extra stuff here. Oh yeah. If you want a great weapon for Candorous, this is the one. The Heavy Repeating Blaster. I've pretty much... I don't think I can go too much farther on, uh, well, you can always sell a little bit more. I've been trying to be a little careful about how much I sell, but my goodness, the damage, it's so impressive. We need to have one or the other. 3 to 20, that's pretty good. We don't need the heavy repeating blaster, but the, uh, the assault gun, how can I say no? So you could always sell small things. The Republic of Mod Armor I've kept because uh, there's upgrade parts in it and I don't want to lose those. Mandalorian Heavy Armor. We don't have that many people who can use Heavy Armor. So we'll part with that. And down to the explosive. Bondar Crystals sell for quite a bit considering their relative lack of value. Yeah sell a couple thermal detonators and fill out the rest with the crappy ones. Alright. And we're broke, everybody, but boy do we have fantastic equipment. So, seriously, it's the stuff dreams are made of. I'm, I'm probably not going to show on camera all the fun uh, 
equipping and min-maxing stuff, but uh, it's a real delight. Once Now that you can really you've played the game for a while, you can appreciate the raw power of all of this stuff. Which, by the way, not in the original version of the Xbox game. Um, yeah, I'm going to off-camera tweaking the lightsabers, the equipment on everybody, and I'll show you the end result. Alright, welcome back. I upgraded the uh, equipment, so first lightsaber, saber. We've got the sigil crystal and the solari paired with the mantle of the force. If you want the highest max damage, I think you pair solari with uh, the heart of the guardian, which gives you a, sort of an orangey Darth Vader colored lightsaber. And there's one that's very similar to the sigil crystal, but slightly better. It, like The sigil typically adds one to six, this other one you get it, find it on the very last uh, world you visit. I don't know. It starts with a U, I think. Anyway, uh, the one catch is if you put the Solari Crystal here, you get an insane bonus against dark side enemies. So while it looks like we could have better damage with a slightly different configuration, this is actually the best one overall because the enemies that we're going to be fighting that uh, require the most oomph will be dark side. So, and hey, 13 to 45 is not bad. Uh, other upgrades. Uh, <laughs> you can add insane amounts. Attack bonus plus 3, no big deal. 1d6 Sonic, 1d6 Sonic, 1d6 Sonic. Hey, that, uh, that doubles the strength of this weapon, so that's pretty good. HV88s were already upgraded. Uh, I've got both of these on Karth right now. Back as Ceremonial Blade was already upgraded, but you can really increase... You can get another 2 to 12 out of this weapon, which already had a pair of 2 to 12s. So that's pretty awesome. And then finally, the armor. Deciding what to put the upgrades on is a little complicated, but um, I would go with the uh, Bastion armor and then the two exoskeletons. Because Constitution plus 3, Strength plus 3, hey, can't argue with that. And mm. for the people I've decked out... Candorous, uh he's probably not going to be on my final team, although I do like him. Karth, there's a slightly better chance. I gave him the heavy exoskeleton. He's actually got pretty impressive stats, and um, I've just got him fighting close range, because you know what? He can hit really hard right now. HK-47, just gave him the composite armor and upgraded a couple other things. I guess we can give him advanced targeting, and that'll help him out a little bit. Joe Lee, nerve amplifier belt to protect his brain, and then I gave him the best lightsaber I could. I could do better by giving him another, like the Baragwin weapon instead or whatever, but you gotta have some principle. And we're not bringing Joe Lee around for his, uh, his combat prowess in terms of raw physical strength. I got him to use stun droid, basically. Jahani, I gave a double lightsaber. It's pretty good. The less said, the better. Uh, mission I decked out, and her dexterity is uh, off the charts. Uh, she's got the light exoskeleton, so that'll give her, you know, higher ceiling, but light exoskeleton is adding one to her dexterity, right? And then another three here. That's crazy. And then another three here. That's even crazier. Good times. T3M4 just gave him the best of what there was. Uh, he's a good little guy. And uh, you should probably give back a Ceremonial Blade to Zalbar, but I'm not going to be bringing him along because his defense sucks. And that's how we set everybody up for the final uh, hyperspace jump. Alright, I'm going to walk to the bridge, and then in the next video, we will, you know, get on with the last part of the game, I guess. Here we go. Walk up. You pick your new destination, and then we're set. I'll see you there.